Hello, hello everyone. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm gonna show you how I bring in my sock design to fit the different style socks I use and um, the different sizes and everything. So first I'm gonna, well my program's open because it does take a while, but this is how I would do it when it opened up. I would go to new file. I would pick my paper size or my canvas size um, but since I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna make it 17 by 11. I make sure it's 300 DPI's when I do it and all that. And then I hit create and then there we go. And I'm gonna go up here to my move tool. You gotta hit that or you're not gonna be able to do anything. Okay, so I'm gonna hit that. And we're gonna go, you, we're gonna make our own template. I don't need an outline around it. So we're gonna be making our own template for the socks. Okay, we're gonna make three because we're gonna do three different sizes, okay? So I know my, um, oh, I need it, hold on, I, let me change it. Oh no, it is 17, okay. So I'm gonna make this template, I'm gonna go over here to my right and I'm gonna make this one 12.7, okay. Oh yeah, I do have to change my paper. So let's change it to um, 19 by 13. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna make it five inches wide, okay. Then I'm gonna grab this one. Let's change the color to make it see it. Move it to the top. We're gonna to change this one to 4.2 by 12.5. Cause that's gonna be my safe area. The white is the bleed area. This is my safe area. The gray is my safe area. So that's what's going to actually be on the sock, okay? So that's how I do it. And then I would um, bring in a design. So let me change this one over here to 4.5 um, by 9.25. There we go. So we'll make that one the small sock. So I'm gonna show you different ways. Okay, so let's say you're, you're doing a sock with no, um, no background, okay? So let me go, um, um, so let's go grab this design, drop it in. Oh man, it's so big, it's so long, it's not going to work, right? Whoops. Okay, so there, so there's my box. I hit it, I hit the layer. So you see this is where it will cut off, right? But this is what I do. And that's why a lot of my socks don't have the toe part. So, now you gotta remember too, your printer, um, you know, your ink doesn't print white. So let's say you can't do this in your program. So what you would do is do your paper size and then um, get a white, get a white box, and um, I'll just do it this one. I'll, I'll just get another one. So you get a white box, okay? Make it white. Go make it white. And, um, cause you gotta remember, you don't print white. So make sure it doesn't have an outline or anything. And then there you go. It's only gonna print above the white. So there you go, not a big deal. And then you can just print it like right there. Okay, so that's if, you, if your program doesn't have layers or you can't use layers, then um, that's what, um, that's another way to do it, okay? So let me check that one off. So I 
bring in my template because now we have made this ourselves. So this is a sock template. You have measured it. You have brought, um, did all that. So now I'm going to bring this one down to my design right here. And you see how it's blue up here and down here because that is your design. So we're going to hit the little triangle. Then you can open up that hidden layer. You're going to click it and look, you can make your sock that way. You can move it up. So sometimes you can use the same, I'm going to hold on, I'm going to right click it, duplicate, move it over here. Then you can see the difference. So, um, so same design, but look, when you can move the eyes, move your design around, then it won't look like the same design, but it'll still go. Okay. So that's how I do it. It is not distorted. It's nothing. I just dropped the design right in the box and the, the box and it took care of it. Not the box, the template. Okay. So that's what I would do over here. Also the same thing. If you want to design your own or whatever, you make sure it's not cut off. So if you don't want to have it, um, it going off the sides or anything, make sure you measure your jig. Not all jigs are measured the same. So I've done this with all the designs that I have done with socks and everything else. So um, let's go over to the next one. So here's a no show. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab and drop it down. Well, let's do this one. Let's do a little harder one because sometimes they do come like this on two. So we're going to delete that. So see how they cut, whoops, ooh, I don't wanna move that one. Okay, so here's my cat, okay? So I got two socks. One design's gonna be hidden, so now I have to duplicate. But I'm gonna turn that one off, and I'm gonna turn this one on, and let me find which one I'm gonna put it in, and I'm gonna drop it in the layer, just like that. But I like my socks to point at for the person to look right. So I just flip it upside down like this. Now let's say, oh, it's too close to the edge or whatever. Guess what? You can just go like that. And let's say if you want the little toe color in there, that's fine too. And sometimes you can squish it down just a little bit. I know some of us have really small feet and stuff. So the red is your safe zone. The green is your bleed. So you can also push it a little bit, not too much. And then there you go. And that's how I do the no show. So let me turn this other layer on and drop it in there. And then we're going to go up here and rotate it. I just like mine to face the person, but it is upside down for me when I wear my socks. And then the back, I do, um, I do it for um, when you have your legs up. Then they can read it if they was coming by to read your um, sock. So that's how I do it. So just like that, nothing too crazy or anything. You just have to make sure your program has layers. You can, you know, make the box like I did here. And I'll do it again. I'll shut that one off. Bring another one in. Let's do a background one. Here we go. We're gonna drop it, there you go. Now if you want more or less, you can adjust it. Just like that. Now, um, the same thing with, um, let me shut these off. And we're gonna make this one 10. I'm just throwing numbers out there. You have to measure your own jigs and all that. 
we're going to make this one 10 by 11. And let me go get um, a tumbler design. And I'm going to drop it in. So say it's, too, it's not big enough. So you can go like that. You can pull it down a little bit. doesn't look too bad. But let's say um, you don't want it like that. You want it like this. Then guess what? You can multiply it. Div duplicate it, not multiply. All right, do it like that. If you want to have more words, make sure they connect and all that. We're gonna do it down here. Duplicate it again, right? You're gonna have to make sure they all line up, but I'm just showing you the different ways. Like if you wanna do seamless patterns and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna group it together, then they all move together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, drop it in that layer with the square. And then there you go. It's not distorted, it's not stretched out or anything. So you just have to see what program you're using to see if you can do these steps in there or not. But um, that's how I do mine. Then I can pick and choose where I want the eyeball to land, if I want it to start at the top of the sock, or do I want to have that gap right there, or do I want to bring it up there like he's playing peekaboo? Um, you know, real easy to do. And I, you know, you do the same thing in this one. Let me bring that design over here. Then you can see. So there we go. We're gonna bring it, drop it in the layer, put it in this template. I'm gonna rotate it just like that. I can squish it down, make sure the eyes are. But remember, only what's in the red is what's going to um, print. And this is perfect because it even has where your ankle goes and everything. So if you wanna put words or one single design, you can make sure it doesn't fall into that spot and stuff like that. So you can also um, do that. You can do it like this. All right, so I hope this helped anyone that was curious about doing it, how to do it, or how I was doing them on different style socks and different size socks and all that. This is how I was doing it. it this is how I am doing it. Um, it's, there's no trick, secret, or anything like that. All right? So, until next time, take care. Make sure you like, follow. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, but this is the only program I know. Um, I don't use any other program. So, um, so if it has to do with another program, yeah, I can't help you. Um, so the, I use Affinity. My printer is a 7710 Epson. Um, th that's all I'm familiar with. So, um, yes. So until next time, take care. Bye.